Beach FM, locals talking to locals. Tuesday afternoon and Hannah Swartz is back in the studio. Good afternoon. Oh, kia ora, Tanya. Hi. So we're talking about your upcoming workshops, starting yes. those off again. Yes, so yep. these are the monthly workshops that we've been having at the community centre in Paraparumu. Mm-hmm. So there's a bit of a garden there, um, really nice little, you know, manageable size community garden yep. tucked into the corner of the building between the um, sort of on your way to the to the pool if you're going to the pool you might see it there's a sort of a metal fence and it's behind there yep. yeah so um, and we run monthly workshops there so it's a really good the idea is that you come along we we do what needs doing in the garden um, so you know it's quite a low maintenance garden. Once a month is kind of enough to keep it ticking over. Yeah. And um, but also you get to take home whatever produce there is, seedlings. There's seedling seeds, but also the knowledge. So you can take home ideas that of what you can be doing in your own garden at home. It's yeah, free you, as well if you've got one. Yes, these are free workshops. Includes morning tea. So Brilliant. yeah, it's a win-win really. Um, and the f- so the first one is coming up on uh, Monday the 26th of February, 10 mm-hmm. till 12. And it's going to be about liquid feed because at this time of year, I don't know about your garden, but mine is starting to look a little bit tired. Mm-hmm. Like things are starting to go yellow and, I mean, leaves, not um, fruit so much. But yeah, um, yeah things, you know, uh, things like tomatoes, they've been pumping out the produce all summer and they're starting to get a bit tired so the liquid lunch the liquid feed is a really good way to keep your garden going through the end of the summer into the autumn um well anytime really and we'll look at different types of of liquid feeds that you can make quite easily at home uh, whether you're using seaweed or comfrey dandelions manure there's all sorts of options depending on what you what your plants are needing. Actually, it'd be a perfect time to go down to the beach and have a fossick around after Cyclone Gita passes yes, through. Yes, I saw some seaweed on the beach this week, oh, which, yeah. you know, often you don't see it on, on the sandier beaches down in Kapiti. So, yeah. um, and the good thing about using it for a liquid feed is you don't need huge quantity. So, you know, if you're not trying to mulch the whole garden with seaweed, although that would be really nice mm-hmm. if you had <laughs> yeah. if you had enough. But even if you can just collect a bucket full, you can you can make a really rich plant food for your plants, and you can enjoy a walk on the beach at the same time. Mm. Yeah, that sounds cool. All right, so if you want to go along to that community to the workshop, it's at the community centre, Nahina Street in Paraparamu. It's on next Monday, the twenty sixth of February, from ten till twelve. It's free, and you get morning tea as well, and you get to learn some very handy tips from Hannah Swartz. Just make sure you're there for a ten o'clock start on Monday, and we'll catch you, Hannah, tomorrow. Oh, kia ora. One hundred six point three BGFM.